Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. The Lord will take in the house of the Lord, show us the Lord our God. Blessed are they that dwell in the house, thy house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thou honor dwellest. The Lord is in his holy temple, let all the earth be silent before him. Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth sing praises. We're now ready for our morning hymn. him a phrase. down at the cross is our morning um, hymn of praise.
precious name of Jesus. Oh, we come thanking you and praising you for giving us just a gift of another day. Realizing that so many just didn't make it, Father God. But here we are, gathered in your house just one more time, saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we know that the Holy Spirit is already here. Oh, Father God, we just ask you to just anoint each one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, especially the speaker of the hour, Lord. Oh, Father God, just be with this women's day, Father God. Just bless, bless us, Father God. Bless each one that has to say anything or do anything. Oh, Father God, we just love you so much. We praise you, Father God. As you remember the pastor of this church and his family, all, oh, everyone in each pew, the sick, the shut in everywhere, the prison bound. Oh, Father God, you know all about it. So, Father God, as we begin, hallelujah, worship to you, just take full control. We love you so much. Oh, we do praise you, Lord. And it's all in the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. And they all said, Amen. 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 God bless you.
wonderful Women's Day Choir. Let's give them a really good hand. Thank you. Sister Iris Troxler will now come with a litany of hope and inspiration. And following her presentation, the summary of the Decalogue will be done by Ann McGill. Um, Sister Mary Etta Gaines is not feeling well and will not be here today. And we appreciate her standing in. Then the program was, will proceed as printed. Thank you. Please stand for the reading of the litany for hope and inspiration. A new day is dawning and still the laborers are few. As today's Christian women, we are called to use our God-given gifts to be a blessing to others. Among our myriad struggles as a people, sadly we have witnessed the breakdown of the black family and the negative effects of that breakdown on our people. Today, we stand on the shoulders of our foremothers who gave us a legacy of strength and courage of hope and faith, of honor and dignity to meet the challenges of life. All across the land, our children face the ills of a complex, and sometimes unkind society that often preys on the innocence of achieve ungodly purposes or to achieve ungodly purposes. As today's Christian women, we are called to help restore the black family and to reclaim our children, undergirding them with unconditional love, even as Christ has loved us. Grant us today, Christian women, the wisdom, strength, and courage to make a positive difference as we strive to meet the Christian challenge. Amen. Please remain standing for a summary of the Decalogue. From all that dwell below the sky, let the Creator's praise arise. all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, who brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me.
Christ our Savior saith, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good morning, Bethel. Good morning. Let's give another round of applause for the women's choir this morning. On this great and glorious day that the Lord has sent us, let us all look to his praises. This morning, we would like for you to take note of all the notices that are in the bulletin for this Sunday as well as past Sundays and govern yourself accordingly. And right now, the greatest portion of this service is to welcome our visitors. At this time, we're asking everyone that, that is a visitor of Bethel AME Church to please stand at this time and remain standing because the choir would like to welcome you and then you will be officially welcomed by our church officials. for coming today. At this time on your program, you will notice that we are to uh, present the honoree, the person who will go away this year as Woman of the Year at Bethel Church. Generally, when we come to this part, um, I ask several persons to come down and assist me. Um, usually, that number consists of the winner of the, during the previous year, previous Women's Day, as well as uh, the First Lady of our church. The First Lady is not here today, and you'll hear a little, more, little bit more about that, a little bit more about that a little later. Tom Twister. I would like to ask Sister Virginia Bynum, last year's honoree, to please come forward, and I think if it's okay, we'll do that from here. <laughs> 